Nation takes care of that. So Kulik and Nation tied for first with eight. Kelly Kulik up now in the sixth. And Kelly, what has been going on in your lane so far? Well, Rob, the lanes are much different from what I bowled on earlier. Um, they're just a, a touch more sensitive. Seems to be a little wet dry, and I'm just trying to blend it out. You know, we all have the four pin, 10 pin syndrome going on. So I think we can just find a way to, to blend it out, catch a few breaks. Um, We'll start to strike. Hey, Dancing with the Stars called during the break. Anything you want me to tell them? Yeah, tell them I'm available to dance next year on, on the broadcast. So, um, you know, I'll dance with Max or anybody on Dancing with the Stars. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you got it. I don't know how I would do in heels, but I would go. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of heels, I have a heel story for you. I can't believe I just said that phrase. Gets all 10 into the pit, does Kulik. Speaking of heels, I was over at the the, uh, the Hall of Fame Museum gift shop. They have women's heels, but the leather part, you know, that wraps around the foot is made of bowling shoes. Rental shoes. No, 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 no. Like, really high class, like, really actually pretty nice. No kidding. You have to go check it out for the missus. Wow. I notice, I take in everything. Here's Liz Johnson in the sixth. Has 10 points in last place. That's not going to help That's her not cause. So good. That's not so good. Boy, and she's doing a juggling act right now with equipment, trying to find a right, the right one to get to the pocket, and she just left a 7-8. Any chances of me getting two on this? Hmm. Liz, you're staring this down. What is the approach uh, mentally and with the game right now? Uh, I'm going for my four pin right now. That's what I'm going to try to look at. Because a four pin would be, it would be right in between the seven and the eight, right? Gotcha. So she's going to try and kick the field yeah. goal is what you're telling you gotta me. you got to get it right in between the two, buddy. It can be done. Four. Nope. Yeah. Oh, now, again, boy. Liz Johnson is in last That's place, funny. but with That's the Petraglia funny. scoring system, so anything, anything can happen. Is possible. We're not trying to jinx anybody. I just want to let you know she is far from out of it. <laughs> Liz Johnson at the Viper Championship. Rolled against Linda Barnes and took care of Linda 211 to 196. And that victory got her here to the Women's Series Showdown. There's the seven. That's a three point frame. And Johnson now with 13, four more than Kulik. Here's Nation with the strike here. She would remain even with Kelly Kula. Nation finished second in last season's Women's Series showdown to Carolyn Dorn Ballard. That one was held in Florida. Her fourth strike through six frames. Nation and Kulik going toe to toe, but don't count out Liz Johnson just yet. The conclusion of the Kulik Johnson Nation match when ESPN's coverage of the PBA Women's Series Showdown returns to Arlington, Texas. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, welcoming you back to Arlington, Texas. Stephanie Nation, your leader now through seven frames. Kelly Kulik in second with 12. She had a very challenging seventh frame, leaving the three, four, six, seven, ten. It would take a three on this frame to drop to second place behind Stephanie Nation. The low score of these three will move on to your title match where they will take on Michelle Feldman and Shannon Pluhowski. Again, the Petraglia scoring system, you earn one point for each shot you take until you get all 10 pins down. Low score is what you want. Kelly just went to a ball change right there, Rob. It looked like a little bit more subtle, a little bit more subtle ball reaction down the lane. Her fourth strike of like this match. She was using the same piece of equipment that was that she used to beat Chris Barnes for the Tournament of Champions victory, and then 
Went to a different ball there, a little bit smoother. Change of direction. Liz Johnson off the strike in the seventh. A one-point strike, and now another one. She's at 15, two behind Kulik. Again, anything can happen with the scoring system. Nation looks to be in good control, but one bad frame and everything gets tightened up. Yeah, everything changes. One big ugly split, a washout, two, two, eight, 10, two, four, eight, 10, and it's a different ball game. A little home court advantage here for Nation. We'll tell you about that after the shot. And another strike for Nation. She practices here. And when I say here, I mean literally here on these lanes about three days a week for the past couple weeks and solely on the Scorpion oil pattern. And yes, the lanes change and the oils change the way people are bowling it, but the fact that she is very comfortable in these surroundings. You would think, Randy, would be a pretty big advantage for her. Yeah, it's it's a, a huge advantage to be able to practice on the lanes that you're going to compete on using the same oiling machine that's going to put down the exact same oil pattern. Kulik in second with 13 points. Give her 14. Two in a row, five total. That's all right. Right now, Liz Johnson has one thought on her mind and one thought only, strike or nothing else. I mean, she's got to strike in the ninth and strike in the tenth to have any chance. Well, she's found the right ball after six frames. That's three in a row. So she remains two behind Kulik and five behind Nation steps up here in the ninth. If Stephanie doesn't strike on this next shot, this match will be very interesting heading into the 10th frame. If she does strike, she will only have 12 through nine. But again, with the Petraglia scoring system, anything is possible. A dozen right now, and in great control of this one. Remember, the lowest score moves on to face Michelle Feldman and Shannon Pluhowski. Only one will advance. Did you hear the music, by the way? No, I, I try not to listen to that song. One of the greatest songs ever recorded. Alexi Lawless and his hambo. I'm not, I'm not listening to you right now, Rob. You're better than that, Randy. Here's Kulik in the 10th on 14 points. And she Got will sit chance. down with 15. Got a chance. Come on. An outside chance. She's going to need a disastrous 10th frame from Stephanie Nation. Now, what this means, though, is, is Liz Johnson is eliminated because she right. can't beat Kelly Kulik. Right. And Stephanie, all she needs is a spare. And she will have 14 points, and she will move on. Johnson will clean that one up. Nation oh, well. is next. And like you said, she knows she has two shots to drop all 10. She leaves a split. She's in a world of hurt because that may set up a tie or even worse. So good to see the new look Liz Johnson back. Curious to see how she'll do at the Queens and the U.S. Open. Her day is done with 18. Kelly Kulik at 15 will sit and watch Stephanie Nation. Two-shot frame will move her onto the title match where she'll take on Shannon Pluhowski and Michelle Feldman. for Stephanie Nation closing out with five straight strikes. She advances to the title match. Up next, Michelle Feldman.